let's look at <coughs> this question on uh, solving equations so the question is solve 6 to the power x plus 1 is equal to 3 to the power x giving your answer to three significant figures okay <coughs> so so whenever you have a power as a variable as one of my teacher used to say hit it with a log okay we're going to hit it with a log that means you're taking log on both sides so you can say log of you can write okay natural log because in calculus it's better to write in natural log so ln or natural log of 6 to the power x plus 1 x plus 1 my pen tool is playing up is equal to natural log of 3 to the power x plus 1 so applying the third or the the log rule so this is x plus 1 natural log of 6 is equal to x oh I have done a mistake here this is not x plus 1 this is only x so this is x so you've got an x here so this is this is 3 natural log of uh, my pen tool is playing up for some reason so this is 3 natural log of 3 mm. so this should be x natural log of 3 now uh, I'm going to bring this x down or dividing both side by x it will be x plus 1 over x is equal to natural log of 3 divided by natural log of 6. So what I've done is I divided both sides. So let me show you that. So let me use a different color. I've divided both sides by x times natural log of 6. So this side I'm dividing by x times natural log of 6. Okay, so <clears throat> what happens is, uh, let me use a different color, so uh, black, so this a natural log of 6 will cancel with this, and x and x gets cancelled. So let me bring back my blue color, so you got x plus 1 over x is equal to natural log of 3 divided by natural log of 6. So let me get a calculator out, which is uh, natural log menu, mm, oops, 1 natural log of 3 natural log of, my calculator is playing up, natural log of 3 divided by natural log of 6 equal 0 0.6131. Uh, Six one three one five six one three one five. I'll remember that. Zero point six one three one five. I've written up four decimal or five decimal places. Okay, and now I'm going to cross multiply. So x plus one is equal to zero point six one three one five x. And bringing uh, so I can say one x minus 0 0.61315x is equal to negative 1 okay so now you've got 1 take away uh, 0 0.61315 gives me 0 0.38625 0 0.38685 0. Point, I keep forgetting the number 38685 38685 x is equal to negative 1 and dividing both sides by this number x is negative 1 over 0. 0.38685 so again get the calculus this is 0. 0.38685 so that's right so minus 1 okay oops so it's minus 1 divided by 0 0.38685 execute it's 
which is minus 2.2.58 2 uh, in three significant figures, it will be minus 2.58, minus 2.58. So x is minus 2.58, which is in three significant figures. So this is your answer. Okay. Okay, so the pen tablet is not working. Okay, let me do one more question. Square root of x square root of x square root of 2x minus 1 is equal to x minus 2. So I'm going to square both sides. So square root of 2x minus 1 squared is equal to x minus 2 squared. So the square root will get cancelled or will be removed. So you've got 2x minus 1 is equal to, when you expand this, you should know this is x squared minus 4x plus 4. So let me make a quadratic equation. So this will be 0 is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 2x plus 1. Therefore, this will become x squared minus 2x minus minus 4x minus 2x is minus 6x plus 5. Am I right? Yeah. And now you have to factor is equal to 0, of course. So now the two factors which gives you minus 6, this is level 1 or year 10 uh, factorization. So x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 1. Now which of them is acceptable? So if you put 5 here, if you put 5, it does work. 2 times 5 is 10, so it's a positive number. But if you put 1, then also it works. Okay, so let us check what of which of them is acceptable. So, if say x is phi, if x is phi, this is the left hand side would become square root of 10 minus 1, which is 9, and which is 3, it's plus or minus 3, okay, and your right hand side becomes phi minus 2, which is 3. So this does work. But what happens, so let us say if x is 1, what happens? When x is 1, your left hand side will become square root of 2 times 1 is 2 minus 1, which is 1, which is plus or minus 1. And if you put 1 here, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. Okay, so yeah, <coughs> when you have, both the answers seems to be right, because here, yeah, uh, if you are taking the only the positive root, um, if you're taking by only the positive root, only this is true. So I would say both the answers are right, because here, yeah, in this case, you're getting only 3. If you take 3, this is right. Okay, uh, I'm not sure. Okay, so I would accept both the answers to be true. See you in the next video.